That area where Labatt Park is could have been a cornfield for hundreds and hundreds of years because it's like the Nile in Egypt. They used, they grew the wheat on the banks of the Nile because every year the Nile would flood and replenish, and they did that for centuries. The other importance about it being a cornfield is, is, is that it's not uncommon for First Nations, even centuries ago, to have games, to have celebrations, uh, you know, especially around the harvest. This might be an area that was used for celebrations for centuries, we just don't know. We um, love Canada. <laughs> we love London. Yes, yes we do. What, what we've kind of done is fallen into a tradition in a way. What started as, oh look, we get discount tickets for the baseball game on, on Canada Day and we get to stay for the fireworks has turned into, hey guys, do you want to do that again this year? And everybody's really excited about it. We always plan to have dinner there. And it's pretty cool that they offer local beer. Um, you know, you can you feel good about supporting um, a local business. Uh, and the kids love to get freezies and popcorn, and they kind of, we kind of let we kind of let them just go nuts because it's it's a special day and it's a celebration. When I'm at the game, my top snacks are either pepperoni pizza or popcorn or freezies. I need hydration. What's important for us about the Canada Day games is that we had a heck of a fight trying to get Labatt Park recognized with the Guinness Book of World Records. It is right now in the Guinness Book of World Records the world's longest continuously used baseball diamond. By having the Canada Games, the whole thing, what we're doing is we're reminding the significance of it. The other thing that's important to me is that the Americans like to say the first game of baseball was played in New York City. It wasn't. It was played just outside of Ingersoll in 1838. So another great thing is I have friends in the USA who are really big into baseball, and this year I sent them a message and said we're at the world's oldest active baseball park. And, um, you know, they were like, oh, I don't know, you know, whatever. And so I got to send them a Wikipedia article and with a photo of, you know, behind the plate, and whoa, you know, like it was a pretty big deal. And so that was kind of cool too, being able to, you know, brag about my city and the accomplishments and, you know, kind of history that we have here, the unique, very unique history, right, that we have here. So that was cool too. To me, professional sports has lost a lot of meaning. It doesn't mean anything. It's overpriced. I can't afford to go see a baseball game or a hockey game or any professional game. I mean, you got to be a millionaire to travel to Toronto and buy those tickets. I'm really grateful that the majors offers the opportunity to, to see games at an affordable price. But more than that, that they really make an effort to engage people of all ages and all skill level and all interests. And I think every year, too, we keep building on that tradition. So I was really surprised this year, for example, when Pearl was like, yeah, I'm going to run the bases. And we kind of went, OK, okay <laughs> go run the bases. It was very fun to me because it felt like I was actually playing baseball. Um, and the kids will try something new and different each year. Ferris this year caught a foul ball. Um, when I caught this, I felt like I was amazing because I was tackled. It feels very um, familial. It feels very welcoming. I think that positivity also lends itself to drawing people to come back to the park and, and meet them again and see, you know, Brownlee's gonna hit another home run or something like that, you know, um, which is cool. Even though it may be something that we do similar year after year, there's something a little bit different that makes us remember that particular year. My son has got a baseball glove signed last year by every player, and a baseball signed this year by every player, and a hat from three years ago signed by every player. So it's just a really welcoming atmosphere and very family friendly, and, and I think that's what keeps us coming back year after year. Uh, we've got archaeological evidence to show that the area of the forks is thousands and thousands of years old. So when you're standing on the Bat Park, you're standing on one of the few areas in London you know that people have been using for thousands of years. In the future, they might still be using it. Uh, you can't say that about most other parts of London or even Ontario. I really liked um, the fireworks at the end. 
those were nice. Very nice. Yes. It's a and nice special treat. 